All right, you got another song picked out for us this afternoon? Yes, sir. Um, this is a song uh, called Sarah Let Your Hair Down. A friend of mine, Trey Ward, wrote this with Glenn Pace. He's from uh, Trey Ward is from Greenwood, South Carolina. This is one of his songs. <laughs> your hair down come and sit with me a while let me hear you whisper soft and low summer's almost over and the mill is shutting down soon it will be time for me to go a sharecropping farm was kept us fed since 1929 now in the salt of dust nothing seems to grow but I hear this still is booming just above the Dixie line. But to a northern foundry, I must go. Sarah, let your hair down, come and sit with me a while. Let me hear you whisper soft and low. Summer's almost over and the mill is shutting down. Soon it will be time for me to go. Retro 78 live in Studio B this afternoon on Going Across the Mountain here on WNCW. Uh, guys, you talked about the uh, Spigma uh, International Band Competition uh, a few weeks ago or last month uh, back in Nashville, Tennessee. Talk to me a little bit about that and kind of help how that's helped uh, get get you some, some recognition and uh, pick things up for the group. Well, I don't really know uh, how it all went into play with that, but uh, obviously uh, went to Nashville at, uh, January 27th through the 30th, and um, we, uh, you know, had to had to perform with with professional musicians judging us right there in front of us, and uh, um, I'd say um, all of us here have played, um, I'd say since we were just youngsters, you know, and uh, Dad and I, of course, are the oldest, and uh, yeah. and Clint. The rest of these guys are, you know, really young. But uh, I think just uh, being able to get in front of the right people, you know, to let them hear what you have to offer, and it's just humbling to uh, realize that they would pick us because uh, there was some great competition at Spigma. Um, I felt like, you know, there was – less groups than has been there in previous years but i told the guys every group there was was doing their thing yep. and doing it well but i think just getting getting heard in the right place is probably what's played a big role in it absolutely well, congratulations um talk to me a little bit about how you came up with the name retro 78 does uh, that uh, have a meaning behind it or 
it has a little bit of a meaning behind it. However, um, <clears throat> we're trying to do songs that um, either has fell by the wayside or is brand new, kind of like Sarah Let Your Hair Down's never been put out there where it needs to be. But, I mean, it was a it was a pretty big conversation about having a, what, what, what are we going to name this group, you know, and. Well, a lot of the, uh, Kevin, a lot of the songs that kind of we would jam to were songs in the 70s and 80s. Um, a lot of those songs that you don't hear anymore, Painted Lady, Kevin brought that uh, out in Knoxville Grass. They sang that song. And then, you know, the Virginia Squires, a lot of songs they sang, we just jammed to that stuff. And so there is a, you know, it kind of inspired us to really get this band going, you know, with those that kind of music. And so maybe bring back what what was retro and then the 78 is the speed that the uh, LPs played on. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, which also plays into the years. So, <laughs> well, sounds like it's working for you.